Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Trust Wallet. This is going to be a beginner's guide showing you guys everything that you need to know on how to use Trust Wallet. So like how to buy, how to sell, uh, how to swap tokens and things like that. There is lots of things Trust Wallet can do. So I'm going to show you guys everything that I know of about Trust Wallet and hopefully it helps you guys out. And I'd just like to let you guys know as well, if you're interested in cryptocurrencies and you want to learn how to buy, how to sell and lots more within the crypto space, I really recommend subscribing to this channel as we'll have lots of content into the future. Anyhow, just stay tuned and I'll show you guys exactly how to use Trust Wallet. And first things first, you guys obviously want to download Trust Wallet. That can be done just in your app store. It's very, very easy to do that. I'm not going to show you guys that. Uh, but once you guys open up Trust Wallet for the first time, it's going to ask you to create a wallet. Uh, so all you guys have to do is click on create a new wallet. And it's going to tell you right here to back up your wallet. So it's very important that these 12 words that are going to appear in a second here, you want to make sure you write them down. Do not screenshot it because it's not safe in your uh, camera application or your photos application. So just make sure you guys write them down and put them in a safe place. You do not want to lose these words as if you lose these words, you lose access to your wallet if you get logged out or if you get a new phone and things like that. Uh, so once you guys understand that, you want to click on I understand at the bottom and then click on continue. Now it's going to show these 12 words in this specific order. So just make sure you guys write these down in this specific order because the next page you're going to have to type them in or write them in in this order. So just make sure you guys write them down. And then if you click on continue, you can go ahead and put these words in in the correct order. And once you guys do that, you want to click on continue and then it will bring you over to the next portion where you will have access to your wallet. And I'll show you guys really quickly what that looks like here. So if I just back out of here, and go over to my wallet, you will see this as your first screen. It's just your basic wallet. And the first thing that we're gonna look at is just the settings option in the bottom right corner. And I'm gonna show you guys all the settings that you can change and uh, show you guys what you can control with this application. So if you just go over to settings, it'll show you all the settings that you guys have here. Now, the first thing I recommend that you look at is security. Reason being is once you have security on this, it's gonna either do face ID or a pin. And to do that and to turn it on, you just wanna click on enable on app lock. And then you can go ahead and click on auto lock and it's gonna ask you if you want to set it up for uh, immediately. So whenever you leave the app to prop up your password again, or if you're away for a certain amount of time. So if you guys wanna change that, you can do that there. And then in the lock method, it's gonna show you uh, either a passcode or a face ID. So you could choose that here. Uh, I just have my face ID on because it's a lot easier, uh, but you guys can decide what you would like there. I'd really recommend putting security on your wallet. Um, anyways, after that, you can exit it up here. And then the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is the price alerts. Now, these are really cool because every time there's a big fluctuation in price, it's going to give you a notification on your phone. Uh, all you guys have to do for this is just click on enable at the top, and then it will show you all the coins that you have in your wallet. And then anytime there's a significant price change, it's going to give you a notification just letting you know uh, what the change is and things like that. So I really recommend uh, adding in price alerts as well if you would like to. And now the next thing is Wallet Connect. Now, this is pretty cool. It's going to allow you to add mobile wallets to your dApps on your phone. Uh, so it's actually pretty cool. All you have to do is open up the camera when uh, you click on this and then it will scan the QR code for your other wallets. So that is very, very useful for those people who do use other mobile wallets. Uh, anyhow, once you guys are done in these settings, you can go over to preferences as well. And then it's going to set up with whatever currency that you would like. So for example, I'm in Canada, so I have my currency set to Canadian dollars, but obviously depending on what country you're in, you can go ahead and change that here as well. And then it's going to ask you for your app language. That's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, just set it to the language that you would like, and you should be good to go within your settings here. Once you guys have done that, we can go back over to our wallet. And once you guys are back in your wallets here, we're going to be on the tokens tab. So just make sure you're on the tokens tab on the top of your screen. But once you're in the tokens tab, you'll see it will show a main amount for your uh, currency that you have in your wallet. So at the top here, since I set mine to Canadian, it's going to show me this top price right here uh, being in Canadian dollars. But I already showed you guys how you could change that. Uh, so if you're interested in changing that, you can go ahead into your settings and change that to your native currency if you would like to. Uh, anyhow, uh, you'll see there's three buttons right here, one being send, receive, and then the buy option. Uh, so those are the three buttons that you're going to be uh, working with the most. Now, one thing I want to show you guys before we get into buying and stuff like that, sending and receiving, is how to add coins to your trust wallet. Uh, now, it's actually really easy to do that. If you just go to the top right of your screen, where you see the two lines and the two circles, you can go ahead and click on that. And once you're in here, you can just scroll down. You'll see there's tons of coins that are accepted within the Trust Wallet. You can go ahead up to the search bar and search for it yourself if you would like to as well. So I just searched for ETH right there and it shows me the Ethereum coins that are available on Trust Wallet. Now, if you guys just exit out of that and go back to this screen, all you have to do to add a coin to your Trust Wallet is just click on the enable button right here and then click on done. Once you guys do that, that coin will then appear in your Trust Wallet and you're able to see the price and the price change and stuff like that. Now I'm just going to head back over to the top right where those two lines are in the circles. And then if you click on the coin once it's here, you will see right here you have an option to buy the coin right in here as well where it says the transactions will appear here. And what's cool about this as well is that it's going to show all your transactions like what price you paid and stuff like that. Uh, so that's really cool if you do purchase right through here. 
Uh, another thing I'm going to show you as well is once you click on a coin, so let's just say if I'm going to go to Bitcoin Cash, you can go to the top right, right beside where it says buy, and you can click on that little chart icon. And what I'm going to show you here is the current chart, and you can change it by the hour, the week. And obviously, this chart isn't the greatest. If you're using like a trading platform or even like Coin Market Cap to look at your pricing, there is a lot more accurate graphs. This is just kind of like an overview. And then uh, if you scroll down, you will see the website for the crypto, uh, the market cap, the volume, circulating supply, and whatnot. And then there's a, as well a link to CoinMarketCap's website for this token. So you can guys can go over there and get a more accurate uh, graph and stuff of what's going on. Uh, but yeah, once you guys do that, you can just go over to any of the coins on here and enable them. And then it will show them in your trust wallet, just like that. And then it will show them in your trust wallet. So that's very, very easy to do. Now to remove a token from this screen, it's actually really easy to do as well. You can just swipe over from the right to the left. And then you'll see the disable button right there. You can just click on disable and then that coin will then be removed from your screen. If you guys are looking to add it back, very easy. Just do the same process we just did, top right corner. And then you can go ahead and pick any currency that you want to add again. So that's pretty easy to do as well. Uh, now I'm going to show you guys how to receive currency in Trust Wallet. Uh, so for this tutorial's sake, I'm going to use BNB probably because it's the most common coin that you're going to transfer over to buy other tokens. Uh, so if you just want to click on receive, you can see all the coins that you can receive in your Trust Wallet here. Uh, so to get the address, you just want to click on the coin that you want to receive. So in this case, I'm going to use BNB. Now it's going to show you this QR code right here. So if you're with someone in person and they want to send you BNB to this address, you can just get them to scan this QR code. Uh, or you can copy the address by clicking on the copy button. And then the address will be copied right there. So you're able to send it to someone in a text message or on social media and things like that. Uh, so I'll show you guys really quickly how to withdraw BNB from another exchange like Coinbase or if you have it on Binance like I do. Uh, I'll show you guys really quickly how to receive BNB in your trust wallet that way. Uh, so I already copied the address, so we're good to go there. I can then exit out of here and then go over to Binance. And once you guys are on your exchange of choice, like I said, I'm just using Binance because I'll be sending BNB. But this could be any exchange like Coinbase or others. Uh, you just want to be able to send the coin and you want to be able to go to the withdraw section for that coin. So for this case, I'll show you guys BNB. So we're just going to go over to the wallet and then uh, we'll go over to BNB. I can just search it. And once you guys are on the coin that you want, regardless of your exchange, you just want to click on the withdraw button. And then you'll be at this page where you have to withdraw your currency to another wallet. So uh, I currently have my whitelisted addresses here and uh, turned on. So I won't be able to add another address here. But all you guys want to do is click on paste for that address that we just got off Trust Wallet. Uh, so if I just click on paste, this is my uh, address for BNB. So I can go ahead and click on OK. And then uh, all you guys have to do is put the amount in that you want to transfer over. Uh, so in B, for BNB specifically, I'm just sending it to my BEP20 address. So this is going to go into my Smart Chain wallet. But if you guys want to send it over to your BNB wallet, just make sure you're on the BEP2 network. Uh, but yeah, once you guys have that set up there, you can just go ahead and type in whatever you would like to. So let's just say if I wanted to send in one BNB, I can go ahead and type in one. And then it's going to show me the exchange and transaction fee and things like that I'll get. Now it's going to say insufficient balance for me because I currently don't have any BNB in here. I'm just showing this as an example for you guys if you guys are sending over a coin like BNB or any coin at all. Uh, but all you guys want to do now is click on withdraw at the bottom. It's then going to show you a confirmation page. And then you can go ahead and click on confirm. And then it will send it over. And like I said, regardless of what... Uh, exchange that you guys are using this will work for any coin any exchange it's the same uh process you just got to make sure you click on the right uh coin on trust wallet and then transfer it over to the right address by copying that address over so it's very very easy to set up and do uh, but once you guys do that you can exit out of here and go back over to your trust wallet and your coin should appear in here within a couple minutes uh typically for bnb it usually takes about five minutes but i know other coins are a lot quicker and some are longer so just be patient and wait till you get the confirmation notice from your exchange saying that your coin has left and then it should only take a couple minutes after that now I'm going to show you guys how to send cryptocurrency from your trust wallet to the exchange. So this is going to be for if you guys are selling or you sold out of some altcoins that you guys have on here and you want to transfer it over to your exchange to sell it or do other things with your crypto. Uh, so all you have to do is click on the coin that you want to transfer. So let's just say if it's going to be BNB again, I can go ahead and click on send here and it's going to ask for the same information. So it's pretty much the exact opposite of what we just did. So I'm going to head back over to Binance and then I'm going to show you guys what to do. So once you're on Binance, you just want to go over to the coin that you would like to, and you just want to click on deposit this time instead of withdraw. It's then going to pop open this here, uh, showing you all the networks that are available. Now, if you guys are sending BNB specifically, if it's just BNB, it's not on the smart chain. You want to make sure it's on the BEP2 network. But if it's the smart chain token, then you can go ahead and send it on BEP20. So mine's on BEP2 right here. So all you have to do is click on copy on the address and then head back over to your trust wallet. Once you're back in your trust wallet, you want to paste that address right here and then type in the amount that you want to send. So let's just say if it was five, I can go ahead and put five and then click on next. It's then going to show you here your confirmation. So it's going to say it's going from the main wallet that you have to the wallet that you have on Binance. 
going to show you your network fee and then the total that you're going to receive in terms of your current currency in your Binance account. So if you're okay with that, you can go ahead and click on confirm at the bottom. Obviously, mine's just going to say top up because I don't have any in here right now. But if you had the correct amount, you can just go ahead and click on confirm and then it will send it over to your Binance wallet. So that's pretty straightforward. It's pretty much the exact opposite of what we just did. So that's very easy. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to buy in Trust Wallet as well. So if you guys just click on the buy option at the very top here, it's going to ask us what coin we want to buy. So let's just say if we wanted to buy some Bitcoin, we can go ahead and click on Bitcoin. So it's going to show us the amount here. So just be aware that it is in US dollars. So we can just back out here and type in the amount that we would like to. And as you guys see, it does say a $50 minimum purchase. So let's just say type in 50 here, and then it will show us our third party provider that will provide us with the Bitcoin. Now, I'll just like let you guys know as well that you do pay more fees on here because you're using your credit card, sometimes up to 3% instantly uh, to purchase right on Trust Wallet. And I'm also aware it doesn't work for some people. So if you guys watch my videos before, you're aware that I usually recommend sending and buying BNB on Binance and then transferring it over just because it's cheaper to do that. You just pay that one small fee uh, to transfer it over instead of paying 3% right off the hop and then losing out on some gains right away. Uh, so yeah, uh, you guys can purchase it through here if you would like to. If you would like to, you just wanna type in the amount that you would like. So let's just say 150 here, and then click on next. So I'm gonna bring us up to our provider. So in this case, it's MoonPay. And all you guys have to do is enter your email and credit card details here. It's pretty straightforward. And then your coins will appear directly in your trust wallet. So that's very easy. Uh, but once you're done that, you can go back over to your main wallet, and I'm gonna show you guys the finance tab. Now on the finance tab, you will see these options for staking. Staking is pretty much when you're participating in a proof of stake blockchain, basically to enhance the security of the blockchain, and you do get some rewards for that. So if you guys have any of these coins that you see here in the finance tab, you're able to stake these, and it just shows you the APR for all of those. That's gonna be your annual return for staking. Uh, so it's very important to see the APR when you're comparing it to other options and other options to stake. But if you just click on the coin that you wanna stake, uh, you can go ahead and click on more, and then you'll see the stake details button here. And under stake details, you're gonna see the amount you have available, the amount you have staked, and then the APR and the lock time. So it's very important that you guys are aware whenever you stake, your coins will be locked, meaning you cannot move them, you can't sell them or anything like that. So just make sure you're okay with that. Um, and this specific coin is 21 day lock time, but each coin is gonna be a bit different. And if I just show you guys Tezos right here, you can just go over to the more section there, stake details, and then it will show you the APR and things like that for this one as well. Uh, now, if you're interested in staking it directly, you can just click on more again and then click on stake. And then it'll show you guys the validator and you just gotta put the amount that you wanna stake. So that's very easy as well. I will have more videos coming out explaining staking and how to stake and things like that. So just stay tuned for those videos. Uh, but once you guys have done that, uh, you can exit back out of here and back over to your tokens. And then I'm gonna show you guys what the DEX button is right at the bottom here. So if you guys just head over to the DEX button on the bottom, it'll just bring you to the swap page right here. And what this is, it's gonna allow you to swap cryptos right on Trust Wallet. So if you guys have BNB or BUSD, or if you have any other token, you can click on the option where it says you pay. You can click on that and then you could choose the crypto that you wanna pay with. So whether that's Ethereum, BNB, or whatever token you wanna pay with, I'll just use BNB as the example here. And then it's gonna ask us what coin we wanna get in exchange for our BNB. So if you guys just scroll down here, you could choose any option that you would like to. So I'm just gonna choose an example right here. So let's just say if I wanted to get uh, Matic, it will show me Matic right here. And the thing with Matic is it's obviously it's an ERC20 token. So this is gonna be a Binance pegged version of the crypto. And what that means is that it's gonna follow the exact price of the token. It's just gonna be on the Binance chain. So you guys don't have to transfer BNB over to Ethereum and then transfer it over. You can just do it directly. So just be aware of that. Uh, but yeah, all you guys have to do now is click on the amount of BNB that you wanna transfer over. And what's cool, when you click on it, it'll allow you to choose a percentage of how much you have in your wallet. So if you wanted to use 100%, 75% or less, you can click on the exact percentage right there. It'll make it easier. But if you just want to type in an amount, you can do that as well. So let's just say if I wanted to spend 2 BNB, but then show me how much Matic uh, I will get in exchange for that. Now, if you guys are okay with that, you can click on swap and then that new coin will then go to your wallet. So that's pretty easy to do. And the next option here is exchange at the top. So if you just switch from the top tab and go over to exchange, this is gonna be like an actual exchange like Binance is and stuff like that where you can see and choose the exact price that you wanna pay. So if you just click on the top there where I, you see Bitcoin Cash slash BNB for me, you can see all the trading pairs that you have available. So you just wanna make sure that you have the correct uh, price and pairing uh, for what you wanna do. So if you just scroll down here, you'll see all the different pairings that you guys have an option for. So let's just say if you're using BNB as the currency that you want to use, uh, you can just click on whatever coin you want. So let's just say if we go to uh, the ERD token here, 
And then you'll see here the BNB uh, ERD trading pairing. And all you guys have to do here is you'll see that the price for BNB for the ERD is right there. And all you have to do is type in the amount that you want to spend. So let's just say if I want to get this for 32586, it will then show me the price I will pay in exchange. And all you have to do is click on the amount of ERD you want. So let's just say if it was five, it will then show me uh, that I will pay that much BNB per ERD token and I want five of them. So it obviously won't go through right away, depending on what the market's at, but you guys can send uh, buy and sell orders through here, which is actually kind of nice to do right on Trust Wallet. But all you guys have to do is click on buy ERD, and then it will show your open orders here at the bottom. Obviously, if you did a lot cheaper of a price, it might take a little bit for your order to go through, and your open order will stay here until it does get put through. And then it's the same thing for selling. You just want to click on sell, and you can do the same exact thing. Put the price that you want to sell for, the amount you want to sell, and then it will show in open orders. So the exchange tab is a really, really cool option for you guys to be able to do this right on Trust Wallet. If you guys have any more questions about these kinds of things or any questions at all, just leave them down below. I'll try to help you guys out the best I can. Uh, now, if you guys head back over to Wallet, you guys will see that I have a browser option on the bottom of my screen. Uh, if you guys don't have that, I'll show you guys how to add that. And it's just really easy. You just have to go to the description. I'll have a link there over to the Trust Wallet support page. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. So if I just head over to my browser right here, I'll show you guys exactly what that looks like. So you just go on to this page right here. It's going to be the Community Trust Wallet page. And all you have to do is scroll down and click on Trust Browser Enable. It's then going to pop up a pop-up here asking you to open it in Trust Wallet. And then it will show the browser icon in your Trust Wallet. I'm not too sure why they don't have it in there off the beginning of it. I think it's just because the App Store won't allow them to have that in there because it's decentralized. Uh, but once you guys do that, it will add the browser over to your trust wallet and that's exactly how you're going to buy a lot of other tokens that you do not see in your trust wallet currently now i'm going to show you guys how you can buy new tokens a lot of new tokens aren't on trust wallet right away and how you would do that is you just head over to coin market cap and get the contract address or you can also go to etherscan or bsc scan as well to get the contract addresses so i'll show you guys really quickly how to do that so if you just head out of here and i'll have another link in the description to coin market cap as well if you want to use coin market cap so I'll go over to CoinMarketCap and I'll just show you guys this Safe Blast token as an example. You guys can search for whatever token you want by going to the top right, clicking on the search bar and searching for whatever token you would like to. But if you just scroll down here, you'll see where it says contracts and right beside contracts, you will see a little copy icon. If you just click on copy and exit out of here, you can go back into your trust wallet and then go to the top right corner where you see the two lines and the two circles, click on that. And then you would be able to paste that address up in the search bar. What this is gonna do, it's gonna add that token to your trust wallet. And all you have to do is click on enable and done. So once you guys do that, you will see the safe blast token in here and it wasn't in there before. And that's how you add coins that when you search for them up in this top corner and you don't see them, that's exactly how you go ahead and add them yourself. Now, if you wanted to buy that token, that's exactly what this browser button here at the bottom is for. So if you just click on browser, you'll see there's lots of apps in here. So you see there's new dApps, there is DeFi, there's Smart Chain, Yield Farming, Games, Exchanges. So there's lots of different options that you guys have in here. There's also marketplaces as well. So there's tons of things you guys can do in here. The most common things are probably swapping coins. So you could use a lot of different exchanges for that. So there's PancakeSwap, SushiSwap, OpenOcean, Uniswap. So there's tons of different exchanges you guys can use. So let's just say, for example, we're going to use SafeBlast as the example. I can go over to PancakeSwap. And then if this is your first time using it, you have to go to the top where you see the connect button at the top. Click on connect, then click on trust wallet. Once you guys are in the exchange person here, you'll see BNB as the currency that you have to use. You can go ahead and click on select a currency and paste that same address that we got from coin market cap here as well and this would work for any coin if it's on the binance chain if it's on the binance chain you could typically purchase it right in pancake swap but if you're doing a chain that's on the ethereum chain you could use ud swap and it's pretty much the exact same process but all you have to do here is just paste the contract address that we got from there and then you could click on add and then click the token in and now all i have to do is decide how much bnb that you want to transfer over into the token that you're looking for so you just type in 0.2 here and then it will show you how much you'll get in exchange for that now, one thing I like to point out as well is slippage tolerance is very important when you're using these coins. So slippage tolerance is just going to allow the coin to fluctuate and the process still to go through. Uh, the only reason why I have a slippage tolerance that's a little bit high is because I don't want to pay fees multiple times. To change your slippage tolerance, you just want to go beside where it says exchange, click on the three lines, and then you can change your slippage tolerance right here. Once you guys do that, you can exit out of here, click on where it says insufficient BNB balance for me. It's going to tell you right there to confirm and swap. And then it'll show you more broken down version of your transaction, showing you your fees and your withdrawal rates and things like that. But once you guys are done that, you click on confirm and then exit out of here and your token will then appear in here. So that's how you use the browser and that's how you use PancakeSwap to purchase tokens that aren't typically available on here and that you don't have the option to go ahead and swap in these options. So there's lots of different things you can do with Trust Wallet. 
Anyhow, that's going to conclude my tutorial on how to use Trust Wallet. If you guys need more help or you have any questions, just let me know down below. Uh, if you guys are looking also how to sell uh, and cash out directly at a Trust Wallet and right into your bank account, I'll link that video in the description and comment section down below as well. Uh, but that should sum up exactly what you guys need to know to use Trust Wallet successfully, how to purchase, uh, how to sell, and things like that. Uh, anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys this video. If this video does help you out, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.